Hey guys, this is Artificial417, and today we are going to be looking what's on my iPod that did not make sense. So, we are going to open up my iPod. I don't really care if you guys see my passport because it's not like you guys are going to like hack anything. So, here's my home screen. I only have one page because I literally organize everything into like one page. So, I have, I have five I have five folders plus I just leave my followers plus app out there so basically well, for followers plus it's just basically like telling me like who unfollows me like who are not following me back and how like popular my photos are I only use it for my fan account because I don't really care about my personal account which kind of sounds like not bad but like yeah because I like barely post on it because I always post my fan account Anyways, so we're going to go into the first page, onto my Apple page, that's where I keep all my stupid Apple apps. So here we got Game Center, App Store, iTunes Store, Clock, Weather, Maps, Calendar, Videos, Notes. I barely, I, like I literally barely use these apps, I never use the App Store because I don't get apps that often. Unless they're like super cool apps, which I never find super cool apps, which is kind of crappy. And I never use the iTunes Store because I download all of my music off of YouTube. How great is that? I get free music. And clock I use for alarms sometimes. I don't like alarms, so I barely use them. And I don't use calendar at all. Weather, I check it to see what I can wear. Because it usually, sometimes it'll be raining or anything. But I just check to make sure what it's going to be later on in the day so I know what I'm going to wear. And I don't use apps, maps, because I don't have a phone, so I can't really use maps. And then on the second page, we got settings, reminders, FaceTime, podcast, tips, health iBooks, my friends, and fit metabolism. I don't use my fit metabolism, fit metabolism thing, even though I should, because yeah, like well, I don't actually really give a shit. And I use settings to change my Wi-Fi because our Wi-Fi is sometimes sucky. Um, FaceTime, I barely use FaceTime unless it's with my internet friends, which I don't usually FaceTime. And other than that, it's just use a bunch of crappy apps. And then over here, I'm using Kick, and I barely use Kick too. So like, whatever. And news, like, what's even the point of news? I want to delete it. Hopefully you can delete it, like, soon. Because it's kind of a crappy app. On to the next page. And as you can see, my background is 21 Pilots. Yes, I am a super big 21 Pilots fan. And I enjoy them a lot. Okay, on to the next page. Utilities. Mail, Safari, Netflix, Contacts, Calculator, Voice Memos, Stocks, Kijiji, and First Class. So, I don't really use mail unless it's for like a Kijiji because Kijiji is kind of like Craigslist in Canada. So, when people want to buy stuff from me, they ma email me and I see them and I see their emails. So, yeah. And Safari, I use Safari not that often because there's really no point in using it. Um, and there's Netflix. I use Netflix all the time so that I can watch my favorite TV shows, which are Grey's Anatomy, Supernatural, The Walking Dead, etc. And I don't use contacts because I never add anyone in because I have no friends. <laughs> and calculator, I don't use calculator often unless like I'm like, cause I'm I'm kind of bad at math. So I, when I want to see the sale of something, I have to see um, I have to use calculator to see like, oh, what's minus forty percent or whatever. Yeah, and I don't use voice memos because there's really no point in recording my voice because I can always just use my camera. And I don't even see the point of stocks. I wish I could delete stocks. And Kijiji is what I said before is pretty much Craigslist. And first class I use for my schooling since I'm homeschooled. I use that. On the second page we have Twitter, Vine, Find iPhone, Starbucks, my 1,000 followers thing. Net Next plus 7-Eleven, Pokemon Go, and Procreate. I don't use Pokemon Go because it keeps crashing, but I want to use it one day if I ever get a phone because again you need data to actually walk around and do it. Um, I don't use fun iPhone unless for like some reason I'm like, oh my god, where's my freaking iPad? And then it's literally like in the next room. And I don't use Vine that often. I go in every like few days just to look at the funny vines and then I refine like every single one of them because I don't really care what's on my profile. And Twitter I use sometimes. I just like looking at posts and retweeting them. And Starbucks I don't use unless, unless, well, I, go, I only got it so I could load my Starbucks card and stuff. And for 7-Eleven, you basically just get to scan it, and then you get, like, free Slurpees and stuff, which I don't know. I don't know why I got it. And Procreate is a drawing app, and I don't use it because it's crappy. And then my public library thing, which is just my public library app. And, yeah. So, we're going to go on to photography. 
There's Instagram, camera, photos, wallet, YouTube, We Heart It, Playtube, Pixelator, and Facetune. Um, I, I, I use Instagram a lot, like I'm on it like all the time. I don't know why. Um, there's also camera, which I barely use camera unless for some reason I decided to take Chloe because it looks so good that day. Um, there's photos, wallet. Well, I don't really use photos. Unless for some reason I want to send a photo to someone, which I don't really have any photos. <laughs> Just kidding, I have like 6,000 photos. A uh, wallet I don't use because I don't need it. I have a wallet in real life. And YouTube I use to like watch like music stuff and whatever, Markiplier. And We Heart It I use to get my Instagram photos for my Walking Dead account. So yeah, and Play 2 is just basically like another music app where you can listen to it. It caches the music, which is basically saving it. So whatever. Um, there's Pixelator, which I use to pixelate photos so I can kind of recreate them. I don't know use it. Uh, Facetune is basically just another editing app. I don't use it that much, but it was like, I think it was 99 cents one day instead of like 3 bucks, so I got it. And the last page is Pit Collage, Square Frame, and Wattpad. I barely use Wattpad. I don't even know why I got it. I started posting my Hunger Games story like four years, three, two years, I think it was three years ago. And I only uploaded one chapter and I have no idea why I did it. So I don't even know I have it. Uh, Square Frame is what I use to edit my Instagram pictures for my personal account. So, yeah. And Pit Collage I basically use to make memes and stuff. They're actually shitty. So I'm not going to upload them. Um, yeah. Uh, and on to the fourth thing, it's my games folder, which I barely use any of the games, so I don't delete them because I'm a, uh, yeah. Well, first we got Flappy Fall, iFunny, Mac Poster, Guess Who, Flappy Bird, 2048, Plants vs. Zombies, and The Impossible Test. I use, um, uh, Flappy Ball, Flappy Ball's fun, but I barely play it anymore because, like, when you get tired of games. iFunny is my favorite picture-finding app, so... Mac Poster is one of my favorite games. It's kind of like Jetpack Joyride, but not really. So, but it's fun to play, and I still play it. Uh, guess Who is just pretty much like Guess Who in real life. Like, you flip down the little car things, like, you ask questions like, Ooh, are you wearing glasses? And you say no, so you flip on old ones that are wearing glasses. And I have no idea why I still have Flappy Bird, because I refuse to delete it, because I have, like, the world's best record of all time, which is 600 and. 600 something. I actually forget. I think it's, it's gotta be at least like 630 something. And then I got 2048, which I barely play. I don't know why I still have it. I have a good high score on it. I think it's like 16,000, but whatever. And Flax vs. Zombies is one of my favorite apps. Not really, but I used to play it a lot, so whatever. Impossible Test. There's like a bunch of Impossible Tests, but the green was my favorite because it's, it's always been one of my favorites. That's one on the second page, which is Piano Tiles, Geometry Dash, Crossy Road, Jet Pack Joyride, No Scope, Flappy Bird. Quiz up Pac Man 256, Draw Plus, and Faster Well. Okay, pretty much Piano Pals is like, like super like boring as hell. And then there's Geometry Dash, which I am, I kind of quit playing. Uh, Crossy Road, which I'm also like terrible as shit at. Um, there's Jetpack Joyride and No School Fluffy Bird, which you know, like, you know, like MLG and stuff. It's kind of like that, and it's actually like really fun to play, and it's easier than normal Fluffy Bird. Quiz up is one of my favorite quiz games. I used to play it like all the time, I was addicted. And then sadly, last November, I got banned. Make up for cheating, which they never, which I use multiple devices so I could get like higher XP to like be like become like best in the world, which I was always best in the world. But then they never told me that changed the rules, so like whatever. Pac Man 256 is kind of like Crossy Road, except you're like Pac Man. So yeah. Drawcast Plus is my favorite drawing app. I don't use it though because I'm more used to uh, the, the Drawcast down there. Oh, I got a text message. It's probably from my mom. Whatever. And okay, back over here. Um. Hello, oh, and then we just have the basketball thing, which is actually a fun game, but I haven't played it for a while, so I have no idea why I don't know. I'll probably just delete it eventually. Oh, that's my last page. Okay. And then here we got the Five Nights at Freddy's folder, which I never play Five Nights at Freddy's anymore. Although, there are my favorite games. I've never beat Five Nights at Freddy's 4, which is... I don't know. I just never beat it. So, yeah. And then my doc is Messages, Drawcast, which is my favorite drawing app. I enjoy it very much. Except my followers are like ghost followers, so I like I never post anymore because like what's the point if nobody looks at my stuff anymore? And we also got music and snapchat and I just want to show you guys like my awesome music taste because I love it And we have open mind my favorite 21 palettes albums of vessel if it'll load I have some of my favorite well, 
one of my favorite um songs. I like semi-automatic the best. And then yeah. I have a bunch of crappy music on here. <laughs> but there's the No Fun Intended, which is one of my favorite albums. It was one of Tyler Joseph's like first albums, which is actually pretty cool. And then we also got my other favorite 21 Pilots album up at the top. And then there's my Panic at the Disco. That's the only album I have because I didn't feel like downloading the other ones. I will go through all my shitty music so you guys don't have to look at it because, oh my god. And down here is just my favorite 21 Pilots, like all 21 Pilots albums here except for wherever U2 is. So, yeah, there's all of them which are like all my favorite albums. I don't listen to the 21 Pilots one enough, the self-titled one. Although, I should because it's really good, and that was my dog barking. He is very annoying, and I hate it. So, yeah. And then there is my Snapchat, which I'm not that addicted to, which I, I'm actually I'm technically addicted to, because it scores like 80,000, and one of my streaks is like 300 days, but yeah. So that's what was all my iPod eating us. I like shared and I don't usually share what's on my iPod because it's like, okay, please don't look on my iPod. But yeah, that was my what's on my iPod video. So yeah, this is Artificial War 17. Please like and subscribe and suggest what other videos I should do. I have like a bunch of lists that I should do and we're on vacation very soon. So I should probably post some more videos. So yeah, anyways, hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.